Good afternoon. Here to check my two resource hives, the light blue and the dark blue. I'm looking to see if there's any queen action. Last time we were here, there wasn't. And so we had to get some brood from another hive. So we'll start, we'll start with the dark blue, which is closer. Let's see. Oop, they're busy. We knew population wasn't an issue. What we were worried about was, was there a queen or not? And that is still what we are looking for. And so what I did was I got brewed from, oh, sorry girls. I got brewed from another hive and put it in there in hopes that if there wasn't a queen, they would make one. So this was the frame. All right. So this is a queen cell right here. This is a queen cell right there. Wow. This is a queen cell. This is a queen cell. Holy moly. I got five queen cells. So here's what I'm thinking. If the hive next to it did not make any queen cells, I'm going to take one from there. So I'm going to go right into the light blue one right now and see what's going on. Now, last time I opened this hive up, the bees were so calm that I really thought there was a queen, but that maybe she hadn't made it yet. Um, the bees are still calm in both hives. Got to get the sugar off. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to look in this hive body. Oops, sorry girl, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hate when I um, go to pick up the hive frame and then I jam it. Okay, so I see capped brood. There's a queen cell right there, right here. Um, two queen cells, three queen cells. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Oh my gosh. Four or five, six queen cells. They kind of look like... All right, you know what? I am not doing anything to these ladies. We've got all those queen cells. So it takes 16 days for a queen to develop. Then she has to go out and mate. And then it's really almost immediately the queen can start laying eggs. Um, so if I'm not around to check, I won't really know, but six queen cells is awesome okay so we'll keep our fingers crossed give them a few weeks and see what they come up with